everybody welcome back to screen stars i'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 netflix thriller the killer the film is directed by david fincher and it stars michael fassbender pilda swinton and charles parnell now the film follows michael fassbender's character who's simply called the killer here um and we learn that he is uh, a hitman essentially he is an assassin and we um, get to see him at the beginning of the film going through his ritual, his routine, uh, getting ready for a, an important kill. We, you kind of get the message that this guy doesn't miss. He's the best that there is. However, something goes terribly wrong um, and he has to report back to his superiors that um, things didn't go well. Um, which then has an impact on his personal life. And as a result, he decides to track down uh, and take out those responsible for targeting him and his life. Right. What are my thoughts on the killer? Well, what I think what we get here um, is a really, really superbly made um, like action thriller. Um, like It's like a procedural action thriller um, with this in a monologue going on throughout the whole film of um, the killer's thought process about everything. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a slow paced film. Now people I think if you watch the trailer to this um, or you kind of read the synopsis you'll go into this you know thinking this is going to be like a pretty high octane stuff and it really really isn't. You kind of need to understand what you're going in to watch here. This is a much more um, a slow paced deliberately so um kind of assassin film um it, it, if you go into this thinking you're getting another born identity film or something along them lines with huge explosions everywhere and, and you know over the top action set pieces you're going to be desperately disappointed um you, this isn't for you it really isn't what you get here is a much more mature approach to telling the story of um, an assassin um, and it is not a glamorous life by any stretch of the imagination he spends much of his time uh, living in uncomfortable accommodation while he's traveling around the world um, doing budget flights hiring you know um, unexotic vehicles eating fast food I mean he is essentially trying to you know not be noticed by anybody so therefore um, he blends in to society so it is not an exotic life at all and you kind of learn his process and it is incredibly methodical and routine based and disciplined um, and it is such, I think, a joy because the film is kind of split into chapters. You get the first chapter, which is him initially um, trying to take out this target that he's been tasked with. And then the rest of the chapters is, is kind of him targeting those that have targeted him. Um, from his previous employers to those that have directly you know, put someone he cares about at risk. And he methodically goes through each of them. And each of these chapters kind of is a different target for him. Um, and it is just, it's just fascinating to watch. Um, I mean, Michael Fassbender has always been a tremendous actor and a tremendous performer. I, th I actually think he's kind of underrated. And that's possibly because he's done quite a few franchise pictures over the years. He's done the X-Men films. He's done the Alien franchise. Um, and so maybe, I think maybe his acting ability occasionally gets kind of overlooked. Um, I think he's absolutely superb in this film. And like I say, there's very little conversation here in this film. The majority of this film is his inner monologue in his mind, explaining, you know, what he's doing, why he's doing it, etc., 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 and the discipline and. Um, everything that it takes to do what he does um, and it's it's full on you know what I mean so you, you get this intense but at the same time cold 
an emotionless performance um, by Fazbender and it is really fabulous um, really really good and all of the kind of human interactions that you get in the film for the most part is him talking to a target or talking to someone to get information and it's very brief and it's very matter of fact and it's like he gets what he needs and he moves on um, and it deliberately kind of it gives you a glimpse into his um, life away from his job um, but it doesn't give you any more than that it just it, it, it you know it gives you that glimpse um, <clears throat> And it, it kind of shows you that it, it's obviously massively important to him because what he does after, you know, there are those out there that try to interfere with his life away from the job. Um, he just completely and utterly emotionless goes after them all sort of thing for them to kind of dare to try and um, disrespect him, I suppose, and disrespect his privacy. Um, so I, I honestly think this is a tremendous film. Apparently it's based on a graphic novel, a novel, I think it might be a French graphic novel, which obviously I haven't seen. <coughs> Excuse me. It's Fazbender's first film, and I think in four years or something like that. I don't think he's made a film since the last X-Men film he did that was a critical failure, I suppose. Um, so I don't know if he's taken time off for whatever reason, but I'm very, very pleased to have him back here in this film because I think this is a bit of a... Um, I was about to say hidden gem then, but it's not a hidden gem. I, I think it's it's going to divide audiences. I think <clears throat> some are going to watch this and are a bit like, oh, it's a bit boring. It's not what I expected. But if you go into this film understanding that it isn't going to be what you expect, it's not another Bond film, it's not a spy thriller, you know, it's not anything like that. It is a much more grounded approach to what must be a very mundane and methodical and disciplined life. Um, and it is perfectly projected. I mean, the film as well looks absolutely stunning. I mean, you'd expect nothing less from David Fincher. I mean, the guy's a master, really, at what he does. Um, I think he's done some absolute masterpieces, and that goes without saying. I think, you know, just look at his filmography, and it speaks for itself. And it's absolutely on point how this film looks, how it sounds, um, how it feels, the whole vibe. He's got everything going for it, and then you've got these... Uh, this spectacular performance at the centre of it and this really fascinating um, sequence of events that go on in this film that while it might not, you know, fulfil this hitman fantasy that we kind of all have out there about what these assassins are and the kind of exotic life that they lead, which is utter twaddle, obviously. But it, it's for me, it was utterly engaging to kind of watch these segments of the film and how he kind of goes about his business to kind of get what he needs doing done. Um, and it's very methodical, it's very tick boxy for him. But it also makes, for me anyway, it drew me right in and I was fully on board with um, the whole process really of the film. So definitely check out The Killer. It's on Netflix now. It was briefly shown in theatres, I think. Well, it was. Um, but it is available now on Netflix, so I definitely recommend you checking this one out. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed checking out this review. If you did, please click the like button if you enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I will, of course, be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.